remove this part here on the top. Take this out so that you can remove this part. Okay. To remove that front panel or top panel, if you may, if you may notice, I am using this uh, organizer. It's I have uh, been accustomed to using for a long time. This makes me organize the screws as well as the other parts, the smaller parts. Okay. We need to make sure that we, when we re when we put back all the the parts, they they go back to their original places. Okay, so. This is a tape. It has a tape. I, I make it a loop, and uh, the outer part is an adhesive portion where I just stick the screws. So okay. Not to, to pull it so hard because there's a there's a still a flat ribbon wire here. Have to remove this as well. Okay, this portion here, you have to take it out too. That is a keyboard screw because there's a there's a, uh, a symbol here it says it symbolizes a keyboard. Also have to remove this part here. And then, yeah, I think that that's it. So I think you don't have to remove this part. There's only one screw that is attached to the keyboard. So. Now you have to. The purpose of removing the keyboard is that we have we're going to remove the wire, the Wi-Fi uh, wire, the wireless card wire, okay, which is here. First, you have to remove the keyboard. And then, well, I'm still yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's. You have to remove this part here, the cover, so at least you can remove the wire. Okay. So I stand corrected for that. So we have to remove this. Okay. Now we have to take this out. Now after this, this is time you can you can remove the <coughs> the front bezel. To remove the front bezel, first is you have to remove the this part here. things here.
so that you can take out the screws. Oh, by the way, you don't have to remove the screws here. I ended it there. I took out the wrong uh, covers. I'll put this back here. Put this back here. Okay. I'm going to use my power driver. It's easier for me. If you have a power tool, it's uh, very handy. Okay. Let's stop there. If you may notice, I put all the screws, I map all the screws on a particular uh, uh, adhesive uh, uh, section here. This corresponds to the LCD screen. Uh, this part here corresponds on the, on the top portion of the motherboard. And this part here is on the back, the, on the bottom uh, section. There's some uh, instance that uh, it, it got stuck, so you 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 need to uh, you need to make sure you remove all the screws. Otherwise, you're gonna break the the, the front vessel. Okay. Now uh, we need to take out this part, the screws here. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is uh, uh, head to this portion here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to make a loop in this uh, packing tape. I, I tape one end on the just a regular paper or any uh, surface. This one corresponds to where I put it. I mean, uh, where I took it. This portion here. This portion goes here. Okay, this portion. In this way, you will know the exact sizes of the screws. Otherwise, if you, if you put the wrong size of screw, screws, you're going to damage not only the, the thread, but you're going to damage the, the, the plastic. Because sometimes if it's too long, uh, it, it's gonna. It, it, it is going to. Uh, it pierce the the, out, the the side. Okay. So this is the inverter board here. This is the the wire that goes to the. Uh, this is a little bit sticky here. Uh, I'm going to pull this out slowly, but I'm not going to break the. Okay. And this part goes to the data, goes to the board. So this is the inverter board here. Uh, put it on the side. As you, as you, as you notice, uh, I, need, I need to work really, really uh, organized. So it's, it's really, uh, it, it's really helpful that if you're organized. It's easier to do the task if you're organized. And then uh, I'm going to take out this portion. Okay? Again, please note that uh, every time I took, take out the screws, I always make sure that I I know where, where, I, where, I, where I get it. So you map it. You don't you don't just take all the screws and put it in one container. That's uh, that, that's the easiest thing to do. And then take this out. I think I'm done here. So good luck, and uh, I wish you all success in your repair and uh, uh, endeavors. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a good